My name is Michael Dillenbeck. I'm with the Kern County Public Works Department in the Advanced Planning section. We go out and seek out federal grant funds and bring those local, those federal dollars back here to Kern County. The department's been working on the Kern River Parkway Bike Trail Extension for about seven years. It started as an ATP grant and has been developed into what it is today, going through 14 different renditions and alternatives that have changed based on feedback from the environmental community, the, uh, the bicycling community, and um, other walking and active transportation groups in Kern County. And we've been working in conjunction with local property owners to figure out the best way to get riders and pedestrians from the existing endpoint on the west side of the Kern River Parkway bike trail all the way down to Buena Vista Lake. The Kern River Parkway bike trail is one of the Keystone Public Works projects that resulted from a collaboration between the County of Kern and the City of Bakersfield to develop a trail that both pedestrians and bicyclists can travel through the city and county areas without interference from traffic or motorists. It currently expands from, the Lake Ming, from Lake Ming and goes all the way out to Enos Lane. The proposed project is to extend it from the Enos Lane parking lot heading south to the Buena Vista Lake for an additional four and a half miles, making it a grand total of 25 and a half miles. Ever since the original parkway trail was completed, residents and local groups and bicycle advocates have worked with the county and the city to try and expand the limits on both ends to create an even longer trail for them to ride. One of the main goals was to get it eventually to Buena Vista Lake. One of the primary goals of Kern County Public Works Department and Kern County in general is the safety of its citizens and residents. As part of that, we look at ways to improve safety for bicyclists and pedestrians and how they could get from one point to the other. This project started as one of those safety projects with no safe access for bicyclists leaving or coming from the eastern or western ends of the Kern River bike path. The proposed project will provide a continuation of the existing Class 1 facilities, Class 1 being a two-way bike and pedestrian pathway from where it currently ends at the end eastern terminus of the bike path heading south across Caltrans right away underneath the bridges and provides pedestrians and bicyclists safe access to Buena Vista Lake where before there was none along these state highways. The project was originally applied for in the cycle one of the active transportation program developed by Caltrans through the Federal Highway Administration. It was unsuccessful in that round, however, the second round of active transportation grants, the county was successful in receiving three and a half million dollars in grant funds. And that came about with the county putting a million dollars towards improving safety for its bicyclists and pedestrians towards this project. We're standing here at the western terminus of the Kern River Parkway bike path, where we're planning on doing a 4.5 mile extension from this point heading directly west underneath State Route 43, and then we're gonna go under State Route 5 and head directly south, crossing in front of the Kern County Raceway Park and heading all the way to Buena Vista Lake. The challenge we have is both meeting the requirements to protect the endangered species within the area and construct a bike path where the public gets to enjoy and observe the wildlife out here in nature. Through our partnership with the Kern Water Bank, we're able to work with them in consulting with both state and federal wildlife agencies to construct and maintain this bike path through this conservation bank property and provide this valuable service to Kern County residents. The Kern County Public Works Department and Kern County Board of Supervisors is really excited to be able to deliver this project to its residents. The project is a culmination of working together with both citizens, environmental groups, bicycle and pedestrian advocates throughout Kern County in order to complete this keystone project in the metropolitan Bakersfield area. At this point, the project is within its design phase where we have Kern County design engineers working on the details of how to construct the project. Once the design phase is complete and we have acquired all of the right-of-way and gotten the utilities out of the way, 
we're going to work with both Caltrans and the City of Bakersfield to get permits to construct the project, which we hope will be coming up soon. My name is Aaron Gonzalez. I'm the program director for Bike Bakersfield. I've been a volunteer here uh, since I was about 14 years old. I've been trained uh, to be a league cycling instructor uh, through the League of American Bicyclists, and, and I'm, I'm grateful that uh, Bike Bakersfield had a, a part in, in uh, training me for that. I've, with Bike Bakersfield, I get to go to schools, you know, Boys and Girls Club. Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, I've, I've gotten to train, you know, a, an array of, of people how to ride bicycles uh, safely in, in Kern County. And I always just want to encourage, you know, inclusiveness and uh, overall safety. So Bike Bakersfield was uh, founded in 2005 by Bob Smith, a city councilman. He, uh, this was his old office. There was a bunch of city planners, designers, engineers uh, in here. And Bob Smith moved around the, the corner and he uh, donated this place and, uh, and a vehicle and, and uh, a lot of these cool bikes that are up here too that are hanging to us and we're always just really grateful that, that he's the one to have uh, started this. Bike Bakersfield is a nonprofit bicycling advocacy organization. I go to a lot of events, a lot of schools, um, but Bike Bakersfield is really awesome, you know, it, it just encourages people, you know, as an organization to just get on their bikes and they really just push in a bunch of different ways to do that, you know, whether that's, uh, you know, uh, going to city council, you know, and asking for better bike lanes, whether that's, you know, hosting uh, inclusive, safe, you know, rides, whether that's my favorite, you know, the bike shop, you know, getting people on bikes, whether here or in Arvin. And honestly, the, the work that we do, especially in the shop or after I teach a kid or even an older person to ride a bike for the first time, always brings a really big uh, smile to my face. Uh, within Kern County, we, we know that uh, it's meant for drivers and our infrastructure definitely you know, displays that. So being a, being a cyclist here, we have to take extra safety precautions um, to ride predictably, to ride conspicuously. I always wear my helmet whenever I ride, even if it's for, you know, two minutes. No, no one over the age of 18 has to wear a helmet, but it's something that, you know, if you can prevent, you know, an, an accident, then, uh, then it wouldn't be an accident, you know, it'd just be an incident. You just, if you get hurt, at least you're wearing your helmet, protect your brain. One thing that's really cool about bicycle commuting is it's a workout in itself too. Um, so outside of, you know, helping uh, Kern County's air, uh, you get a, a decent workout in and uh, it, that honestly saves a lot of time and money too when you're out riding, you're getting your workout in, you're getting meditation in, you show up to work, you're a lot, you feel a lot better, you don't have any road rage because you were stuck in traffic um, and then you, you pull up, you know, you get uh, VIP parking every time. Most people are going to be pretty cool you bringing your bike in or you bring it into your office or to, to somewhere that's inside. and. Um, you, it's not like you can really do that with a car or a motorcycle, so I think that's kind of just like one extra benefit to riding your bike, um, along with, you know, feeling a lot better, you know, breathing better, feeling happier. Um, there's a bunch of positives to, to bicycle commuting. So uh, a, the bicycle, in my opinion, is just kind of like the, the best bang for your buck when it comes to uh, types of commuting out there. Uh, so you know what, there, I'm, I'm not saying everything is, is perfect about bikes. I, I do have to get up a little bit earlier. I have to think about my route. Uh, I have to make sure that the route I'm taking is safest. Um, probably the hardest thing being a cyclist, for me at least, is to, uh, getting up in the morning. I, I don't mind leaving work at 3 p.m. when it's 104 outside. I, I'll still ride home and stuff just fine. Um, I'll just be a little bit sweatier and stuff, but the hardest part for me is, uh, you know, waking up because you have to get up a little bit earlier because and because uh, you'll know how long it takes you to get get to and from work it's not like I have to count I have to factor in you know uh, extra time for traffic or or stopping for a coffee or anything like that I just uh, <clears throat> get on my bike 
and I'm usually pretty sluggish, but by the time I, I'm, I'm actually on my bike, I get to work, I'm like right awake, I feel good, uh, I'm ready to work, and then, and then I start my day, you know? And, uh, I, I feel like if you were just to, ride, to drive your car or, or anything like that to work, it, it really wouldn't be the same. Uh, it's usually not the destination or anything that, that you look forward to when you're a bicycle commuter. Sometimes it's kind of like the, the way to get there. And, uh, whether, you know, if I'm going from downtown to the marketplace or something, uh, I'll, I'll even try and mix up my routes or, you know, I'm gonna go this way today. Oh, it's, uh, and then sometimes you'll go a different way and then you find out, you know what, wow, that, that way is a lot faster for me. You're not gonna start out like Lance Armstrong right away. You know, no one does. I wasn't, uh, Lance Armstrong wasn't, you know, when you start out and, and, and I know it seems uh, intimidating uh, to see these other cyclists that are in all these get-ups, but I promise you, you are the exact same. You know, it's not like only the only the human body is is the limit. You know, and it's not like uh, if you're on the freeway and you have an old beat-up Toyota car or something, and you get passed by a, a Ferrari or something. Uh, um, when you're on your bike and, and you pass someone that you know is uh, like in the mode of like exercise. Um, you know, like the guys you see in like full spandex, I mean, I'm, I'm guilty of it, that's me too. Um, but I, I kind of just have to remember, you know, I, I was there once too, and I usually tell people, I'm like, hey, I'm, I'm passing up on your left. Um, I, I think that's kind of like the equivalent to, to, to someone forgetting to use their blinker, like in a car, is like when a cyclist passes you on a bike lane, like really fast, <laughs> without saying anything, you know, and it kind of just freaks you out. But I promise that uh, road, like road rage like that or like that feeling it it just it goes away in an instant you know no one's in competition when you're on your bike it's not the tour de france it's not the you know indy 500 uh, everyone's going their own pace and kind of just have to remind yourself that whether you're the guy that's in spandex to the joe schmo riding their old mountain bike you know to to work we're, right now we're open uh, monday tuesday wednesday from 12 to 6 anyone could come in it's it's an inclusive bike shop so even if you get a flat tire up front in front of the shop i can i can help you out you know come in buy a tube i'm not like a retail bike shop i don't sell too much new stuff i just kind of have like replacement things and but i promise there's there's plenty of things to to fix a bike at least or or get a really cool old build going anything that's bought or donated through here uh is a super great asset to to bike bakersfield uh, and everyone's going to be really grateful for us to, to stay open and, and be able to continue to help out for the future as well. You know, the more people we get out riding, the, the better, the more, you know, problems we're going to be able to address. There's, uh, and then the more problems that we can fix too, you know, and it just kind of takes uh, being out there uh, than anything. It doesn't, that's the cool thing about bikes, it doesn't matter who or what or age or kind of bike or whatever, you know, as long as you're out there, you're, you have that same kind of, uh, empathy for the for other cyclists when you meet them you know it, and you are always going to have that connection you know oh you know what i ride my bike too you know and, and i i hate that 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 pothole that's right there you know and if you're nervous about riding get on your bike for the first time uh don't forget you know there's there's other people out there that want to encourage you can help you solve your problems you know thanks to to the bicycle commuters out there um just remember that that you're making a difference um, whether that be, you know, better on, better on your wallet or better for the environment for Kern County, whether that's, you know, someone that was like me when I was in high school and uh, seeing a cyclist out there for the first time. You're, you're going to encourage someone else to get out there and you're going to get to enjoy the outdoors as well. I get to see things uh, that you haven't before. So just get on your bike and just don't forget to, to be safe and have fun as well. Thanks again, and I hope to, to see you out there on a trail. Uh, you'll see me on my bike, and I hope to see you too.